Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome back to Lockdown 2. It is the morning of day 4. I've got five skill points to spend here this morning. We might as well put another one into Skull Crusher, right? Let's do that. And now with uh, three points, we should probably put another one into Miner 69er, right? So our tools do more damage because we're going to need that in order to set up a horde base. And I'm kind of torn here. Um, what else to do? I guess I want to go Deadeye. And then this also has Pain Tolerance and Better Barter. So let's do that. I feel like Deadeye is going to be good for this series. Because sniper rifles, hunting rifles, you know, long range rifles that do more damage per hit. Uh, is going to be better for us. Because ammo is very scarce. And the robots have a lot of friggin' hit points. Or they take a lot of damage. Uh, anyway, this is where we left off. I think we cleared out all the robots in this area. I hope we did. Uh, what's this? Oh, this is the laundry room. Okay, so this wraps around. What do we got in here? A shower. Some books. Fireman's Almanac. Oh, Molotovs burn for longer. That's good. Look at this futuristic shit. Give me a workstation book. 14 pieces of brass, that's not gonna help me at all. I need a workstation book. I haven't even unlocked the forge yet. How crazy is that? Uh, I guess I'll eat the potato now. The cooking grill is nice, though. We'll put that in the campfire. Now we can grill stuff. Cooking book. Fine. I don't want to hear it. That shit plus water. I made some cornbread last night, and that's what we're going to end up eating later, so... That's just the way it is. Half-eaten sandwich? Yeah, I might have to eat that later, too. Desperate times. Got some trash under the stairs. Okay, anything here? What's this? Nothing? We got footsteps. Oh, it's the battle toad. Must be the same one that was outside that we saw at the end of the last episode. He's finally tracked me down. Here, BT, you want a fucking bolt to the face, huh? That's what you're gonna get if you mess with me. Because I got nothing else. Uh, let's not go that way. I don't know what's that way. Let's lead him towards a place where we know there are no other robots. All right. Oh, down he goes. Now we just whack him in the back of his bulbous toad head. Until he gets up, and then we run away. God damn it. Oh, yeah, bitch. How'd you like that, huh? That's what you get. All right. Uh, I don't think we went in here yet. Oh, yes, we did. Uh, this, this way we haven't gone. Elevator. The bag. Uh, okay. I guess we're, um, going upstairs, then. That's our only option. Should probably try and be sneaky about this. These doors are locked. There's my land claim block. I'd like it if we could open those doors. Maybe we can have the robots destroy those doors during the horde night. If we fight them on these steps, that's not a bad idea. We could use bars and hatches in such a way that keeps them at bay and we can defend the steps and use melee. And look, this goes up to the rooftop, so we'll have a way to escape. Holy shit. Well, uh, are they coming from both doors? Oh, yes, they are. Well, I'm going to do this, even though it's probably not going to really work. I'm gonna try it anyway, just to keep them both at bay for a moment. Holy shit. That's a lot. Jeez. <laughs> they are eager. Oh, look at Battletoad. He can't make it through. His head's too big. Repair. 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 Now this one. Repair. Repair, damn it. Oh, this is pointless. They're gonna break through in a second. I guess we're just gonna back up down the stairs. 
What else can we do, right? Lots of robots. Oh, shit, they're dropping down on me. Well, hopefully this is the last... last of them. And then we could finally, uh... start surveying this place. Figure out what we're gonna do for tomorrow night's hoard. Make a couple more hatches here. We do not have that much wood at all. Uh, they could cut through the bathroom if they're smart. Yeah, here comes one. Uh, I don't think the idea of fighting them on the stairs is a bad one. I think we could maybe pull that off. It depends what the rooftop looks like. Oh, shit. Okay, we gotta go. So we'll see. That's one idea. I also have another idea where we can hold down cell block A where our uh, storage is right now. We can't go that way because it's locked. Let's put a hatch down right here. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm thinking either cell block A or the stairs. Um, we can go over both ideas once we get this place cleared out. Um, for now, we got other things to worry about. Like all these robots that are trying to kill me. I don't think they can go around. I hope not. I don't know where the rest of them are. They must be still stuck. Because there was a lot more than this. Oh, shit. That's it for the wood. We cannot repair anymore. Fuck. Okay. Time to move. We got another hatch right here, so that's nice. Make use of that. Back up, bitch. Oh, yeah. You know, one nice thing about the way the perk system is set up here is that if you're just going for one specific perk, I feel like you can max it out pretty quickly. I mean, we are already on Skull Crusher level four, and it's only day four. Now, granted, we are leveling up quick because of how many freaking kills we're getting and because I'm running double XP, but still, we can damn near max out Skull Crusher, and uh, that's good. Now we just need a better sledgehammer. Oh, yeah, Bumblebee's done. Now we just got to deal with the rest of them. Uh, I don't want to get too far away from where these robots spawned in at, so let's start heading back this way here. I don't know where the rest of them are at, because there was a bigger group, so I hope they all didn't uh, respawn, and then we got to do this all over again. That would piss me off. Ooh, finished off that battle toad with a light attack. I like that. Yeah, I mean, if we could max out Skull Crusher today or tomorrow, find a way better sledgehammer, and put together a base that allows us to use mostly melee, we might have a fighting chance here. Where the hell did the rest of these robots go? I hear him. Did they, uh, go out on the rooftop, maybe? Here's the loot. Oh, shit. Yes, bitch. How'd you like that? Oh, we got a drone in here, too. Um. Oh, here's one. Yeah, they must have made their way out onto the rooftop. Where are they at? There was a ladder over there. They could be anywhere. All right, I uh, got an elevator. It's open. Uh, yeah, I'm not dropping down there right now. For all I know, the robots are down there. They could have jumped off the roof. There's a bird nest. They always use more feathers. And an egg. Nice. All right, where are these damn robots at? Oh, there they are. Okay. What is this right here? It's a little secret. 
Oh, a little secret surprise. I love secret surprises. The robots are right under us, so hopefully the floor doesn't give out. Oh, what do we got in here in our little secret stash? A book. Motherfucker. That's like Christmas Eve. Thanks for the socks, Grandma. I love them. Get out of my loot room. I see a big pile of ammo, and I want it. Nice. Okay, here we are, baby. Eh, not much there. Here's the ammo, though. Okay. Some. I mean, that'll help us deal with the crowd that's left. Not really gonna help us deal with the horde tomorrow, though. Alright. Murky water. Let's grab these chairs for the wood, since we hardly have any. And, uh, I guess fuck it, we'll dig in. I really don't want to get cornered in this room, so we just gotta be careful. Oh, whatever. Um, well, we've got one lockpick. Uh, hey God. It's me, Glock. If you could stop whatever it is you're doing right now, it's probably not that important, and help me lockpick into this safe, I will do all the things that I... Never mind, we're in, baby! Yes! Oh, fuck yeah. That's great. Uh, let's read that, read that. Uh, we're gonna read that treasure map. Let's see where this is. Uh, it's kind of far away, so we're not going to worry about that right now. We got a bunch of ammo. That's awesome. What is this? Security camera bundle. Okay. Well, we can hold on to that stuff or sell it if we need to. This is nice. We got a level 6 hunting rifle. Oh, baby. Let's put this mod in there. And let's go kill the rest of these fucking robots. Oh, look, they're breaking my doors that I wanted to break. That's perfect. Open this area up. I mean, it would have been nice to let the horde work on these doors. You know, we could have got some kills while they were doing that, but whatever. We can put new bars up here if we want, or hatches. We'll see. I'm not even sure if this is where we're going to hold down the horde. Either way, it's nice to have these doors open. Because uh, now we have quick access to the rooftop. Okay, that was good. I hear more, though. Just when you think you're done, I swear. What is going on out here? Oh, son of a bitch, they're trying to break in. Hey, fuckers, get out of here. Jeez. Well, since we're on a robot killing spree, might as well clear out these watchtowers that we skipped. Yeah, there's another robot up here, all right. Die! Oh, that was good. What do we got? Medical supplies? At least there's loot up here. I'll take it. I've got aloe cream in storage, so once we unlock the first aid bandage recipe, we can craft some. I'm coming up, robot. So get ready. Ah, uh, it's Chad. Come on down, Chad. Dead. What do we got up here? Nothing. Ah, oh, what a ripoff. Ah, uh, fuck these watchtowers. Oh, shit. Supply drop. Where is that? To the northeast? Oh, I think we gotta go get that thing. We gotta. There might be anti-rad pills in there. Alright. Let me drop some shit off first. And then, uh... We'll make that journey. It's risky. But, no risk, no reward, as they say. Now, it's a little foggy out right now, but... 
Not that many clouds in the sky, so hopefully we don't get any rain on this journey. Uh, the supply drop is not marked on the map anymore, which is weird because I'm pretty sure I had it set to stay marked on the map. But I know it's to the northeast, so that's the direction we are going to head in. I'm going to make sure uh, we don't step on any landmines. Uh, did we read the book? I could have sworn we read that that book. Or was that the other series? I don't know. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Either way, uh, hopefully... We don't step on one. We got a fucking DeLorean looking thing over here. With some bullshit. Some bullshit loot in these cars. Here's a hover car. Something better in the hover car? What the fuck is that? A fusion spear? I'll take it. Maybe we'll sell it. It's too late to switch to spears unless we can get the forgetting elixir. Then maybe we can do that. What the hell is this? Getting a bunch of it. Raw cobalt. Well, I have a feeling we're going to need this stuff. Let's uh, not mine too much of it right now, though. We are in a rush. We got to get to this supply drop and get back. Oh, please don't shoot me, giant robot. Thing doesn't seem to give a shit about me. Where the fuck is this supply drop? I feel like we should have found it already. I know it was to the northeast. I don't know why it's not on the compass. Oh, man. I better not have come out here for nothing. Wasting precious time. There. Oh, thank God. Uh, yeah. Take all this stuff. More cobalt out here. Oh, gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh, well, I saw a hundred cobblestone blocks in there. Those are definitely going to help. We should just go for the fucking treasure chest now, right? Oh, it's kind of far. It's kind of far. But it wouldn't be a bad idea. Well, it's either the treasure chest or we go loot some POI. I think we go for the chest. The only issue with the chest is if we get there and there's one of these big, crazy shooting robots around, then that's going to suck. We're not going to be able to dig for the treasure. But that's a risk I'm willing to take. I'm going for it. Hey, rocket launcher parts, and I'll take that bandage, and let's open up this magazine bundle. Yeah, hey, workstation books. Ah, there's the forge. Finally. Here's a shotgun messiah. So, we're going to be cutting through town to get to the chest, which is good. Because then if it starts raining, we can dip inside one of these POIs and not get caught out in the rain. Better than just being out in the middle of nowhere, you know? Alright, cornbread break. We're almost there. Sort of. We're halfway there. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Oh, look at that. Level 6 pickaxe. That is going to help with setting up the base. Especially for the idea I have in cell block A, because that involves knocking out some iron steps. Now, we don't have a fire axe or a hammer yet, so we have to continue to hold on to our stone axe, but that's okay. Let's make a pit stop here and grab some food. We got blueberries and yucca and corn. And I will take what I can get. I thought there were potatoes in here, too, but I guess not. More feathers. And let's get this corn, and we'll continue on. Well, it is looking clear over here. That's good. Oh, we got a crazy robot over there. All right, let's try and do this quickly. Okay, now we just got to hope we can get in there with our one lock pick. Hey, God. It's me again. Glock. I just... Son of a bitch. Well, I can't ignore these footsteps anymore. They are getting way too close. Oh, how do I even get out of here? Go. Oh, shit. Jump. Fuck. Oh, no. 
Oh boy. Yes! All right. Someone is looking out for us today. I swear. Not even being able to lockpick into this chest wasn't a big deal since we found this uh, pickaxe. Look at that. Oh, that was so worth it. So worth it. You, know, you just gotta make us a little exit here. There we go. All right, let's get back home. Holy shit. Let's avoid all of them. Oh, a couple of Molotovs. There's another police helicopter. Let's search this. All right. There's another one. I'm checking it. Seems like you have more of a chance to get ammo from these things. Or a level 6 iron sledgehammer. Fuck yeah. Dude. It's working out, baby. The turns are tabling. Well, there are certainly a lot of places to loot. We can cut through this alley right here. So, we don't have to venture out far to find uh, good POIs. I mean, we got a giant city right here. Oh, hello there. I'm just gonna go this way. So, that's good. We don't, we don't even need to worry about a vehicle other than additional storage. We got the Dishong Tower right here. Can you imagine how many robots are in that building? So many. Oh, oh shit, that was stupid. I jumped right onto that guy. There's a drone. Oh, God. Oh, my God. It's shooting me. Fucking thing. Holy shit. It's got some range on it. That is way worse than birds. Alright, let's get some wood too, because I'm gonna want to make some hatches. It would be better to make iron hatches, but we gotta save our forged iron for this meat processing workbench. I haven't even been thinking about that. I bet you we passed some shit I could have taken apart for forged iron on our journey today. I was just more concerned about killer robots and acid rain. All right, so the Block A base. Well, the Glock A base. I renamed it. First thing we need to do is knock the steps out here and here. We're going to want to go down too so the robots can't get up here. But then we're going to want to use frames to make it so they can get up here on one side. And then we'll add in, you know, bars or hatches or whatever to stop them in their tracks there. And we can get some kills right here with the sledgehammer or whatever. And then, we can lead them over here. Since this door opens, we can do some killing right here. Right? Put a hatch in to make it last longer. And then, we feed them through this area. Okay, we can use hatches and such. And then, we open this up right here. And we can use that area right there. We can make the jump from here to there. And, I think, if we're standing up there... The robots kind of won't know what to do. And we should be able to jump back and forth right there. It'd be a bit of a scramble, but I think we can make it work. The other idea was the staircase leading up to the rooftop. And then we can do something up on the roof. I think that'll be more of like a long-term base, though. Something that could handle a larger horde. Uh, basically, my idea is to secure the stairs in some way and then lead them out to the rooftop. Lead them this way. Right? Up here. And then build like a bridge or a catwalk running from here to that rooftop there. And that's kind of higher up, so once we get up there, the robots shouldn't be able to get up to us. I don't think so, anyway. Let's go check. Oh, well, there is a ladder, but we can knock that out easily. And then this area. We can either knock this out, or just build it up. That's probably the easier way to keep the robots from being able to get up here. And then we can hold this area down. 
So that's an idea, and I think that idea will work better for a larger horde, but that's also going to require a lot more work. Whereas the Glock A base, we can definitely get that set up by tomorrow night. So that's what we're going to do for night five, and then maybe we'll work on the rooftop deal moving forward. Anyway, holy shit, what a day. At least we got some ammo. It's looking good. One thing we didn't get, though, is anti-rad pills. So we're going to have to make a trader run after the horde, unless we find some in loot bags from dead robots. Anyway, guys, I'm going to work on this tonight, and we'll pick things up here on the morning of day five. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more Lockdown 2, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.